Hello and welcome to my map making series. I'm Orange195 and um, in this episode I'm going to be showing you different ways of creating your world so so that you can have void fog and not void fog and all those sorts of things and also um, I'll go into the basics of MC Edit. so I guess we should get started go create a new world and then we're going to change this to Minecraft, uh, what are we going to call it? Tutorial, map making tutorial making tutorial okay and then we're going to put it in creative so that we can edit it when we're in when we're in game and then um, when you put it in creative you can change it back um, later on so we want to put it in super flat um, or you might want to put it in super flat if you put it in default um, you'll get void fog which is you probably know but when you go down lower into the world you get void fog uh, makes it hard to see um, if you put it in super flat you don't get void fog so that is something to bear in mind it can be useful to not have void fog um, turn generate structures off um, customize and then we're going to make a void world because it's quite interesting so if we just choose uh, what's a good one oh, let's just use the classic one and then we want to so that's just two that's seven there we want to change to a zero and then we just want to do I think it's one times zero I believe uh, that should do it so if we use that preset we just get air and that's good um, create the world Now once it loads in what's going to happen is we're just going to fall into the void so if you just double jump so that you oh damn it you double jump so you don't fall and then the only way we're going to be able to edit this is outside the game so I'm going to go hop over on MC Edit and use that see you later okay so now we can um, click create new world uh, but before we do that I'm going to discuss some options um, down here we have a load of options we have graphics um, you shouldn't need to change anything for that that should be okay and options um, oh yeah what you want to do is you want to tick this fly mode this will make it much more like using creative with this unticked um, the movement is very sort of unnatural compared to minecraft so if you tick that it makes it much easier um, that you want to keep ticked and uh, that seems okay you can change the speed by using this one and this one um, but it seems pretty good for me okay so we want to click open world we want to click storm not the circle map making tutorial click M to go down to it map making tutorial then you want to click on this level dot that thing um, and here we are here we are now here's the here's my character right here and this is the spawn point um, this little mob cage with a player head in it so what we want to do well I'm just going to show you all the basics now so if I press tab it brings you up into this above v world view um, it's quite interesting um, this can be useful for when you want to just look at something overhead um, if you s oh, I'll go into that later but um, so yeah let's start making something so I'll show you the first brush this is the select brush you literally just click it and drag and it will make a selection and if you want to raise it you just uh, click on the top hold it hold the mouse down and drag upwards and you can do it the same to sides you have to be careful where you click um, you'll see one one side gets highlighted and that's the side that you'll be selecting um, do all sorts of stuff and then the brush tool this has a couple of settings the first one is fill this will just let you fill it's just like painting um, second one is flood fill which we're not going to do because there's nothing to fill um, oh, let, let's fill some stuff first and then let's flood fill now if I change this to dirt do this it changes individual parts uh, any like clump that's all the same color all the same um, block it will change 
then we have this replace tool so I could replace this dirt with cobblestone and it will do that it does what it says on the tin really um, change the shape of it like this make it a diamond, it does that you know how it works if you take this hollow box it will um, only do it, it does what it says on the tin again, hollow and then you can change the percent, so if I change it to 20% it will only do it in like a patchy pattern as you can see it's only like doing little bits at a time I replace dirt with wood planks now only does it in little little bits and then got this erode, this one's quite useful this just lets you erode stuff down like it says um, paste is good, it'll let you take a schematic like um, let's say want something that's not a spawner okay this it will let you copy something um, save it as a schematic and then paste it in and you can just paste oh whatever go away just paste it multiple times like this so if I just undo all that um, and then we if we make a selection box here um, this will allow us to use this fill and replace tool this one's quite simple as well so I can fill the fill the entire area with air and I'll get rid of all of that or I can oh, or I can click yeah, make it stone no let's make it dirt and then I can click replace and I can change the dirt to um, grass and it will change it all to grass and then if I save it it will um, fix the grass so it looks right come on <laughs> and apparently some of it disappeared. It's not really disappeared, that's just like a graphical glitch. Um, you can fix that by clicking here and making it go down and then clicking it and making it go up again. The view distance. Um, so that's all of that. Um, and then we can do filters. So for example, I could take this entire area and I could... Uh, there's all sorts of different filters. I could do this um, this hollow filter and this filter, um, I can. It will fill a selection, but it will. Um, yeah, boundary thickness 3. But it will leave a little border around everything. Um, with these filters, you have to download them to um, use them. You won't have many filters on, my, on your MC Edit unless you download them from people who have made filters. A good example is this guy called Texel Elf or another guy called Seth Bling, you can search them both on YouTube they make very good filters um, as you can see there's there's like a boundary of air inside this um, even though it's solid dirt so if I just delete all that um, now this import is pretty similar to that paste function on the brush I can paste in this tree for example and that's a tree that I made earlier and if I want to so say I only want this bit of the tree to pe to import again I can with when you've got a selection box here you can click export here um, and let's say it is tree tutorial and now if I go import the tree tutorial will be there now and I can just import it like that and it also works with the paste brush if I if I select paste, um, I can get the tree the tree tutorial again, just like that. Um, so let's say I want to move myself. If I click on this little play icon, don't click your username. Click the play icon. That will actually move you. It's strange, I know, but that's the way it works. Um, or in single player anyway. In multiplayer. Um, you have to move each individual player so I'm now up there and I want to move my spawn point over there as well so if I click the spawn point here um, let's put it there it will say oh you cannot have two air blocks blah 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 um, just click fix it for me that will sort it out um, it's important that now that it's created this block you don't delete this block 
this um this block is what makes the spawn point work. It's a strange way Minecraft is just strange and it chooses to make the spawn work that way. Um you have to trust me. So if you make it bedrock or something that you know you're not gonna break, that makes it a bit easier to tell. Save that again. So now we've got our spawn point set and that and some random junk here. So let's show you some other stuff we can do. So if I do fill and I if I just do a round brush and I make it quite a small round brush and then I make it yeah like that with a chance if you don't have hollow ticked um, it makes the edges of it quite rough as you can see none of them are like perfect circles they're all really rough so if I if I just go like this make a little selection and then I go like that make a selection around it and then I do clone and I do scale factor this this thing here and I do scale factor 5 no scale factor 2 um, that will double the size of it as you can see it just doubled it um, which looks pretty cool and I can also mirror it like that and that will flip it around um, well not flip because flip's called flip it'll um, mirror it like it says and then you can roll it they all do what they say on the tin really um, so yeah if I do that it makes a bigger one so now I have this large version and then if I clone that again do scale factor 2 again you can do it as large as you want, it will just take longer the higher the scale factor you use. So if I go like that, do it again. Ah, come on. It's now a pretty big scale factor. Um, it's now four times as big, I guess. It's now pretty large. And I think this actually looks pretty cool having just like blocks that are like. Because that is. Um, a 4x4 version of a dirt block basically so now if I erode this I just make a bigger bigger road tool if you want to make this bigger and smaller really quickly the brush um, you just press R and F it says at the bottom of the screen um, press R to, de R to increase F to decrease and all that so you can use that as a reference but like I just said R and F will help you out and then we can change the strength of the erode tool so we can change it to 3 and it road a lot faster you can change the line spacing as well which um, generally you won't need to do but it affects how many times it makes the brush um, per like sweep so if I set it to like 20 for the same sweep it does them further apart um, so let's put that back to 1 and then just go about eroding this a bit so it looks a bit more natural. I just dragged that all over it to make sure it covered the whole thing. Wait for it to cut to go through the process. This might take longer on a slower computer. Um, some computers might not be able to handle this, and in that case, World Edit would be better. But if you do have a decent computer, um, MC Edit is definitely very good for this sort of thing. And it also works with every snapshot and everything, which is nice. Um, and now they started releasing snapshot, that's especially useful. So you can see the high strength of the um, erode tool is like wrecking it in a little bit. It's kind of eroding it too much. So I just turned it down to one so that it would just like smooth it down a bit more. Sometimes you get floating blocks. That's something you might have to fix in game or patient patiently go around doing it in. Um, patiently go around doing it blur words like doing it in MC edit so you can also just use the row tool again on that that bit and it should get rid of it like that so you got this ugly looking patch here that I'm just going to erode away I could also just select it and hit delete on my keyboard that will get rid of it 
Um, and yeah, there's there's a little thing. Let's get rid of these blocks. That's an, this is another way you can do it. Just like that. Be careful you're not uh, deleting anything you don't want. So now if I go replace replace dirt with lava. Um, and then I put it hollow chance 5%. That should uh, put a little bits of pockets of lava around the place, just like that. Looks a bit odd, but oh well. Now another thing I can do is I've got a really cool filter here that I got from Seth Bling. So if I make a selection here, and I go up like this, and I hit this filter, it's called Player Statue. Now if I type in my player name, so if I type in orange. Uh, Orange one oh nine five and hit filter. It makes a me. And it's rather ugly looking me because this filter doesn't like make my character look very nice. It doesn't choose the right blocks to make it out of. But that's okay. Um so if I then cut this and then I can click save here and I can name it map making tutorial orange. And delete that. And then I can just I can go to this and click paste, or I can import it like I was just about to do. So if I go M for that make tutorial, I can now paste a ton of me. Put on me there. And if you click on this and go like minus minus three, it'll push it into the ground a bit. So I could put it minus ten. Oh minus 10 and it pushed me into the ground quite a lot um, and yeah I can be sunken into the into the void or I can just yeah or I can sink myself into that but I don't need to that's pretty cool and you have this ugly looking thing um, another example of a good filter oh. now this filters by text elf. what I've done here is made a little made a one by one selection so that I can use the filter properly. So now if I go unified spawner filter and then I click I got go on fill here and I make sure it's like that and then I um and let's let's make a skeleton sp no let's make a cow spawner. Make it spawn between a hundred and two hundred ticks. I'll go into more detail about different um, different filters and NBT edit, so you don't really have to pay too much attention to the numbers here if you don't understand. Um, so that's ten. So what I'm doing here is just modifying a spawner from the default Minecraft spawner to my own sort of style of spawner. So then if I well, there's all sorts of stuff here, but anyway, just make this spawner. It'll create a spawner. I got a cow spawner. Awesome. It won't spawn. The thing about animal spawn is that it won't spawn unless there's grass nearby and it's at a high light level. So I've got to change some of this into grass. Oh, replace dirt with two, which is the ID for grass. If I go like that, dirt with. Why is it not working? Hmm, that's weird. I'll just wait for that to go through. Oh, hollow, that's why. So I go like that. There we are. Grass. Save it again. So that's all the... Oh, wait, there's one le one thing left for me to do. Which is the chunk control tool. Um, so if I, if I press tab again to go above, um, I've got this view, and I, you can see all these ugly little sporadic random chunks here. And what this is, is when when you first load a map it tries to decide where to put a spawn point so it it thinks oh this is where it should be and then it checks to see if there's a valid spawn position for you and then it just jumps around till it finds the right one so this is basically what all this is, it's the game going nope 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 there's no chunks that are good here um, so we can go and delete all these so if you just drag and click like you did with the select box 
and go like that and just drag it over them do the same here and then we can just click delete that will delete all of them all those chunks are gone um, this is useful because it saves on file size so when people download it they don't have to take as long and the other thing we can do is we can go like this to select the chunks we do want so we do the same selecting thing again and then we just go prune and this will only keep those chunks that I just wanted and then if I go over here let's say I want some more chunks do it again create now if you want it to be just like a void world you have to set that to height zero untick the grass box and just click OK and that should be done um, sometimes uh, if you have something to show you sometimes you might want to relight the chunks so you just go relight this is useful when when um, when you get some like lighting glitches sometimes you can fix them by relighting the chunks so that's why you'd use that so now we have this sort of world with no extra chunks around um, and it's cool I think this is uh, the world we'll start off with next time now before we go I'm going to show you this in game just just going to hop back in game and show you the changes that I've done in game because it looks a little different so if I pause it now okay so let's get back to the, the tutorial world so if I click play selected world as you know you know how to open the world okay so this was looks like it's an ocean biome which is why the the um, leaves aren't as green as before so you can you can also use filters and other programs to change biomes which is quite useful I'll probably go into that in some detail about that so as you can see I had actually moved the player over here because I started over here and if I type slash kill I should spawn back here next to a creeper <laughs> uh, that wasn't a very fun sight um, yeah I guess it must have ignored the grass blocks and just like teleported me down there I was expecting to land up here um, and as you see there's me made of ugly blocks couldn't get much uglier and over here there's some dirt blocks that I placed an iron block and the cow spawner so this should spawn a cow and apparently my sounds are off okay it's some sort of glitch but anyway I should have sound um, and yeah so it worked so hopefully I'll get another episode out soon and I'll cover some other stuff I'm not entirely sure yet but I'll get a plan of what I'm going to cover um, should be good um, should start making some form of like more organized map rather than this random chaos that I've just made probably start making like a, a, a cavern for a CTM or something um, so yeah hope to see you next ep hope, uh, yeah. hope you tune in next episode and uh, goodbye